All right, guys, what's going on? Today I got a video for you. This is the Electra Beta 11-2 uh, IPA install for iOS 11.0 and 11.1.2. 11.1.2 is the one that it will work with all the way up to. Anything past that, it's not going to work with. Uh, basically what this is is a semi-jailbreak IPA uh, enabling you to install third-party tweaks and applications to your iDevice natively from your iDevice. So a couple things you're going to need. First thing you're going to need is the Electra B11-2 file, which the link will be in the description below for you, as well as another link in the description below as the uh, Impactor 9.43. Uh, which all you have to do is extract that to your desktop like I've done here and you'll see impact your 9-43 and then just uh, after you extract it double click on the folder and open it up and run the impactor application plug your iDevice into your computer like so and uh, simply what you're gonna do now is uh, oh yeah and don't run it as administrator because if you do it's not going to work uh, while well, the drag and drop feature is not going to work anyway. So once you've done that, just drag and drop your IPA into the City Impactor. It's going to ask you for your iTunes email, so log in with that. Now once you've done that, this is not going to be your actual password it's asking for. It needs an app specific password. So what do you do for that? Go to appleid.com. Uh, or appleid.apple.com and uh, log in, punch in your six generic code that gets sent to your iDevice and then scroll down to security and hit generate password for app specific passwords. Write impactor or whatever you want, you can write elephant, I don't care, and uh, it'll generate a four by four digit password. So just copy that whole password there minimize your browser and paste it in the city of impactor and hit OK once you've done that it will start to install the application <clears throat> now this could take anywhere from two to five minutes depending on how large the file is the file we're dealing with is 22.2 megabytes so you can see that it might take a little bit of time other times it might not this uh, GNU bin pack dot tar this is like the biggest portion of the install so once it gets past this it pretty much flies on by now again this doesn't work with iOS 11.2 11.21 or 2.5 just to let you know I am installing it on 11.25 so it's not going to work but I figured I'd show you how to install the file so you can use it if you're running iOS 11.0 through 11.1.2 so finally here we are verifying the application and complete allows Cydia Impactor to fall back to this little screen where it just shows your device listed and then exit Cydia Impactor and then once you've done that all you gotta do is come to the phone and I'll show you the application it looks like a little square with a thunderbolt on it and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it so let's go to the phone alright so here we are at my iOS device and uh, this is my iPhone. I'm running 11.2.5 iOS. And here's the Electra icon right here. Like I said, it's a little thunderbolt. And what you're going to do is open that up. If you're running 11.0 to 11.1.2, this will work. Unfortunately, I get the version error. Uh, but what this enables you to do is install third-party tweaks to your iDevice natively through the Electra jailbreak. Quote, quote. And I say quote, quote because it's not an actual jailbreak jailbreak. But uh, that's uh, pretty much what the idea is. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys running on 11.0 and 11.1.2 find this useful for you. Other than that, uh, stay tuned for more videos to come for uh, jailbreak IPAs for um, iOS 11.2 and upward from there. So rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Again, the links will be in the description below. And uh, I guess enjoy.